which is a which is actually change the face of Mauritius that we have to ask. There is always this uh, people don't understand that the Albion project actually does not involve a refinery. A small island nation like Mauritius ideally both economically and from the environmental point of view should not have a refinery. And there is no discussion, even no exchange of uh, any notes on a refinery. This was an idea which a, a third party, some, some uh, uh, I don't want to name the uh, organization, they had put a proposal for setting up a petroleum refinery in Albion. They had taken a piece of land, our land. But what is being discussed with India has no refinery content. We don't encourage refinery in Mauritius. You have a port which is right next to Port Louis, your capital. And it's a small opening and everything, all your petroleum requirement, everything is coming there. There's a huge congestion. It will be a petroleum bunkering hub there. Entire requirement of Mauritius is met. And after that, Third country exports are facilitated, which would be in the interest of Mauritius. What is India's interest? Now we are providing petroleum. The entire requirement, petroleum requirement of Mauritius is met by India. And uh, we will continue to do that. But what we are doing, we are passing it in smaller vessels and it is adding to the cost. So what we intend doing now is use the Suez Max, uh, the huge vessels which come straight to Albion. Uh, uh, we are building a uh, jetty there, which is not a commercially uh, a viable option. So we are trying to explore the possibility how it will be done. The bunkering hub is a commercially viable uh, uh, proposition, and with the STC of Mauritius, along with uh, the Indian companies, uh, Indian Oil, Mangalore Refinery, they are doing it together. Engineers India Limited is uh, preparing the DPR for this project. So not only for the market, but also for the jetty. So we are we are going ahead with this project, which will be in Mauritius' interest. But at the same time, there is so much of apprehension, and I read the media clippings, uh, which comes uh, from uh, uh, Mauritius. I said, no, people have to be educated on this. There is another project on which there has been major apprehension. Does this investment justify only to cater to the needs of 280 people who are uh, staying in one uh, Agalek? See, we have to take advantage of the JT in Agalek for fueling also of our ships we are doing these surveillance. If we are doing hydrographic cooperation and hydrographic uh, ships come, everything at this point has to go all the way to Port Louis and then come back and do uh, hydrographic service. This makes sense, uh, both economic sense and uh, as well as um, uh, optimizing the resources to make use of the facilities which are being developed in Agaleta to uh, uh, carry out the surveillance, EZ surveillance and hydrographic service and uh, uh, Assist, uh, extend assistance to Mauritius in moving against uh, economic operators, anti-piracy operations. I mean, these are so. This is something which is in both our countries' national interest.